Good morning. Uh, I welcome you all for this sixth Sunday of the Easter season. We pray for all the families of Core Parish. We also, in a special way, remember all the people who are in loneliness, who are affected by the virus. We also pray for the encouragement and courage from God. May God give us the Holy Spirit so that we may be strengthened. And today this Mass will be offered for Paul and Mason Marat by Alan and Rini Marat. Proclaim your joyful sound and let it be heard. Proclaim to the ends of the earth. The Lord has freed his people. Alleluia. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. To offer this Mass in a worthy manner, let us call to our minds all of our sins and ask God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us praise and glorify God during this Easter season. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grand Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. 
Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God, who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. But it neither sees nor knows him. 
but you know him because he remains with you and will be in you i will not leave you orphans i will come to you in a little while the world will no longer see me but you will see me because i live and you will live on that day you will realize that i am in my father and you are in me and i in you whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me and whoever loves me will be loved by my father and i will love him and reveal myself to him the word of the gospel of the lord praise be to the lord of jesus christ there is a good saying by an unknown person human beings are able preachers they have formulated thousands of laws but never overturned the ten commandments yes this is good all the human beings we are able preachers we can make plenty of laws rules and regulations but we can never overcome the ten commandments so ten commandments are important in our life from the time of moses and ten commandments are followed by everyone and jesus also follows those ten commandments and he synthesizes all the ten to just two love god love neighbor and that is the basis of all the laws in this world why do we follow these commandments is it because of fear of hell or do we want not to go for mortal sin or do we follow ten commandments for the sake that we want to go to heaven or to eternal life and jesus clearly here says why do we follow the ten commandments if you love me you will keep my commandments yes it is out of love alone we can keep the commandments not for any other reason and jesus also tells if you love me you will keep up my commandments and those commandments are just to love god and love your neighbor there there was a famous psychologist called eric forum and he has written a beautiful book called the art of loving the art of loving he says many things about love how we can love and what are the characteristics of that love that book is very famous and even it is kept as a syllabus for our studies for our formation so in that book it is said love is very hard love demands discipline usually we see love is so easy to love someone it is easy and good but eric forum the psychologist will say those who want to love they have to practice as a discipline and it is very hard to love yes even when we are taking the motherly love when the mother loves the child it is very hard the mother has to have the discipline in her life and she has to sacrifice a lot to love that child and we know very well many stories the personal stories are there how a mother gives her whole life to the child she never gets sleep she is ready to get up at any time to protect the child and she is ready to give her life or, or any organ to that child out of love so when the mother wants to show the love it is very hard so during forum would say love demands discipline first and secondly he used to say love should have the patience 
and it needs a lot of patience. Love, we cannot just love. Or one day we can love, the other day we cannot believe it. If it is a true love, the commandment of love demands us patience. You might have heard about this Hebrew story, a traditional story about Abraham. Abraham is the father of faith and he is known for his hospitality. Once Abraham, it seems, he was sitting outside his tent in the evening. He saw an old man walking very tired with a lot of dirt. That, that old man might have had a long journey. So Abraham, as a good person, he called that old man, Come on in, you look very tired after your long journey. Why can't you come inside my tent? I will give you something. So Abraham invited him, he gave him the water to wash his feet and he bathed him and then he asked him to come inside the tent and since it is in the evening he gave him good food and a drink. So when the old man saw the good food and drink he started drinking and eating. So Abraham asked him, are you not saying the grace before eating? So, are you not saying or thanking God for your good food and good place? The man said it same to the old man. See, I worship only fire. I don't say the grace before meals. I don't pray to God. I just worship fire. Then Abraham got a little wild and angry. He pushed him out of the tent. If you are not thanking God, if you are not worshipping God, you are not supposed to be inside my tent. So he pulled him out of the tent and he asked him to go. That night, God appeared to Abraham. And God asked him, it seems, why he did so. Why he sent that old man out. Then Abraham argued with God. God, you see, he got good food and then I gave him good tent uh, shelter. But that man was not ready to worship you and he is not ready to thank you or he is not ready to say a prayer before his meals. So I told him that he cannot be here in the place of faith. Then God told Abraham it seems. Abraham, he is more than 80 years old. I am patient with him for past more than 80 years. Can't you be patient with him just for a night? So this is the story, it is a sad. Yes, love demands the patience. We may be good, we may do good charity work, we may be a good person who has done, but the love out of charity, that what we do, demands the patience. Also Eric would say, love also should be reasonable. In our human body, the head is above our heart. So when we are loving, we cannot go by feelings or we cannot just go by the emotion. It is easy. In loving to show the emotions and feelings, it is easy. But since the head is above the heart, it has to be reasonable. So our love should have a reason why we love, whether our love is true love. And that reason should be with faith and trust. Even without expecting anything from the other person, we have to love, we have to trust. And that trust and faith comes from the reason. So the faith has to have also faith and trust when we are loving. So when we are loving also, another character also is needed, the humility. We have to be humble. Love always leads us to pride. Yeah, I love, I have so many people. But it, it needs humility. Because human, in human nature we make mistakes. To err is human. And we come across that when we are doing a mistake or an error in our love, we should be ready to humble ourselves and ask, I am sorry. When we do this, this love gives us a lot of courage. 
and we become courageous to love someone with the trust and faith humbling ourselves and being patient with others sacrificing ourselves so this love slowly gives us the courage so that we can reach to other people in the first reading today also the people of samaria were considered to be pagans they are always against the jewish people the city of samaria is against the city of jerusalem so when christ has risen when the gospel is spreading out even the people of samaria were ready to accept jesus as lord and they were also practicing the law so when they were practicing law a lot of courage is needed for the disciples and apostles to accept them in the first reading we know very well when the apostles in the city of jerusalem heard from st paul and barnabas that people of samaria have accepted jesus as the savior then immediately peter and the other apostles went to the city of samaria and they told them that we love you very courageously they said yes we humble ourselves for past so many years we have kept you away from us but now we take you we reach out to you so as a sign of reaching out peter and the other apostles laid their hands over those people and gave the spirit to them that is the unity of love so jesus also today he says in the gospel if you love me you will follow the commandments so to follow the commandments the love is needed and jesus also says this love should reach to others this is the call for us today that we have to love others and our commandment should be followed by love let us love god let us love our neighbor kindly stand to profess our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten and made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified and upon his pile he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen let us pray to the heavenly father with all our petitions for all the baptized that we proclaim christ by the power of the holy spirit let us pray to the lord for the people of our towns and cities that they pay attention to the christian message this easter and receive it with joy let us pray to the lord for nurses and doctors that they continue to serve and heal in freedom of conscience let us pray to the lord 
For those who cannot accept the spirit of truth, that their hearts be converted, let us pray to the Lord. For this Eucharistic gathering, that we love Christ and sanctify him as Lord in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. For all the intentions of our parishioners, particularly for the intention of this Mass, Paul and Mason Mara, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us add our own personal intentions. Heavenly Father, with faith and hope, we have placed all our prayers and petitions before you. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the wine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God for it. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all truth. May our prayers raise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ of the Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, our universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with a pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angel host. Sing together the enemy hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, the highest, blessed is 
ਸਹੀ ਜੋ ਕੰਮ ਸੰਗਰੀ ਮੰਗਲੋਰ ਹੋਸਾਨਾ ਜ਼ਹਾਇਸ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਲੀਡ ਹੋਲ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਲਾਰਡ ਦਾ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਹੋਲੀਨੈਸ ਮੇਕ ਹੋਲੀ ਦਾ ਟੂ ਥੀਸ ਗਿਵਸ ਵੀ ਪ੍ਰੇ ਬਾਈ ਸੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਡਾਊਨ ਯੂਰ ਸਪਿਰਿਟ ਅਪਾਨ ਦਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਡਿਊ ਫਾਰ so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples say take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was the end it he took the chalice once again giving you thanks he gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit for we remember lord your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the francis of pope and william our bishop and all the clergy in a special way we pray for all the families of our parishes we pray for all our dear and near ones we pray for all our friends we also offer to you now all those who are in loneliness all those who are in sickness we also pray for all the people who are in need of your support and love we also pray for all the health workers we pray for ourselves to have your holy spirit so that we may be strengthened in our body in our spirit remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy especially the people who have died these days welcome them into the light of your face how much you on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles with our patron saints the same bernard saint hedwig and all the saints who have pleased you through the ages we may marry to be coerced to turn a light and may praise and glory find through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for a
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on the sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy. Be for me protection in mind and body, a healing remedy, and never let me be far from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who follow the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be in the last. Let us invite our Lord Jesus Christ into our hearts. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restores us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us we pray the fruits of this pastoral sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, 
thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.